Hey guys, Spartan117GW here. Today we're going to be reviewing the PTS US Palm Mag. Now this thing is pretty pretty cool because you know in the world of the Kalish Kalishnikov AKs, there's a uh, you know there's very uh, particular peculiar um, polymer accessories out there, particularly magazines. Now it wasn't until recently that a whole ton of them came out, but uh, what's pretty cool is that you know US Palm a couple years back came up with this. Of course, it's based off the real steel version of the US Palm Mag. In my opinion, of all the polymer mags that have been out recently, I like this one a lot just because of the aesthetics, the way it looks, the way it feels, you know, how, the way it grips, the way it indexes, you know, it's a lot meatier and a lot, um, you know, there's just more, more to grab and just more uh, texture, I guess you could say, than your typical waffle mag, I guess, or your just your typical AK mag in general, or banana clip, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but as you can see, this thing is pretty Pretty cool there's a lot of detail in this I mean it's beefy I mean this thing is just feels super solid like <laughs> you shouldn't do it but you might be able to run this over and see if it still works but I mean you shouldn't do that but it, it is pretty beefy that's just kind of a way for me to explain you know how I feel about this mag um, you know it's definitely something it just feels like it's just one solid piece even though there really is an inserted piece just like a lot of other mags it's just oh my god just solid but um, really quick, I want to compare it to the original Beta AK Mag because uh, that's going to be one of the main things I'm going to be comparing it with. Um, you know, more or less any time or another, I've always had one, maybe two AKs. I had like a, a regular um, metal and wood AK, but I also had the beta, uh, beta AK when I first got it a few years ago. But I'm going to compare those mags real quick. As you can see, um, this is the Beta AK Mag, or uh, or yeah, the original Beta AK Mag, not the new AKM Mag, even though they look really, really similar. But just by looking really briefly, I mean, you can tell like this is a lot thicker. It's also a lot taller too. Um, you know, one of the issues that the Beta AK had was that some of the wiring in there would kind of push down on the mag, and you'd have feeding issues. I didn't have feeding issues with all my mags, but I only have about six of these, and I think one or two of them had feeding issues and when you only have six of these that is a big deal when you only have four mags that really feed fairly reliably or if you just have issues on the field just because of the way it's seating in the gun uh, personally with this and I actually had a scenario there's actually gameplay footage of me I'm shooting with this and I see people and I can't shoot them and you know I'm just like you know screw it I take this one out I put this one in and I'm back in the fight um, I believe one of the reasons why this one just seems to feed better too is just there's just a lot more material up here and it just seems to sit in the uh, the AK Magwell, just a lot better. It's and because it's a little wider, you don't get as much of that play left and right, and it just seems to just feed so much better. Um, you know, I'm definitely really excited about this one. It's, and even though these have been on the market for a while, it's just every time I use an AK and every other time I put this one in, it's just so satisfying because it seats so so well it's just no play no wobble uh, but definitely my favorite of the mags out there really quickly um, i'm going to actually show you what it looks like next to a standard ak mag real quick okay so looking at the standard ak and the us palm mag you can see they're a lot closer in dimension than the actual beta ak mags uh, pretty close pretty close relative in height but the beta ak mag still is a little bit thicker. Uh, of course, when, when looking at the mags, uh, if you have mags that are a little bit more by standard uh, dimensions or a little bit more low pro like the Beta AK ones, it means you can kind of run those with the more of your kits that are kind of built around an M4, like for example the uh, the Haley D3 rig or maybe the uh, Cry JPC or something like that. Some of those pouches actually kind of fit those, those slimmer mags well. Well, these you're going to need to probably run more an AK style kit or you can just do what some people do and get tacos will pretty much fit everything. Um, so tacos actually work really well with these too as well, or you know, the taco leg panel and that, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, as you can see, these mags are pretty similar in dimensions, but like I said, just because this one seems to fill the space in the AK better, you just get a much firmer seat and you just don't get quite as much play. And I really haven't had any issues with feeding. Uh, you know, with, with AKs, it's kind of hit or miss depending on what brand you are, but with the PTS Palm mags, I definitely love the aesthetic that it brings to the gun but I also love the uh, you know the functionality as well because if the mag doesn't work uh, in a gunfight then you're kind of you know kind of SOL but um, I'm gonna compare this really quick to the black one 
Obviously, same Mac, different color, but you can kind of see the color difference, black and tan. Now, I tend to see a lot of guys with, uh, you know, the metal and wood AKs will tend to go with this, just because it fits the accent of that gun a lot more. Uh, I know uh, Warren uh, Johnson from North Car uh, North Northern California, who plays a game pod, actually uses these in some of his AKs. If you have the beta AK or any kind of AK that has tan accents to it, this might be the one you want to go with. Overall, though, I definitely like the way they, they feel, the aesthetic, you know, and definitely the performance is there. Uh, really cool mag, and just one of the things out there, you know, a lot of people are still unaware that, you know, PTS has other products other than, you know, what we used to have, but we do have a, a whole lot of new things coming out. Uh, but these are some of the things that are already out there on the market, and I believe Bob even covered this in an Airsoft GI video. But definitely, when it comes to the uh, AK platform, I'm actually really glad they make these because these are pretty awesome. And whenever you see me on the field, if I am running my beta AK, this is what you're going to see them. But make sure you guys check it out. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, go ahead and hit up your local PTS authorized dealer and uh, see if you can find these. I know Airsoft GI and Extreme and Evic and Airspine, all those guys uh, pretty much have these. So make sure you guys check it out. Um, definitely my favorite AK mag out there. Um, who knows? Maybe we'll come out with more AK products. That's one thing I'm hoping for. But I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching and uh, play safe. Elite Force BB, that's what's in my mag. Thanks for watching.